Today, sending files online is an important part of doing business. To do so, many organizations rely on file transfer tools to send their files securely. One of the most popular file transfer tools is called Moveit. This tool has been around for more than 20 years and is used by major players in tech, healthcare, and even the government. But its popularity also makes it a target for hackers. Recently, one hacker group found a big weakness and your data could be at risk. Recently, the Russian-linked hacker group CL0P discovered a way to crack move it. Using a technique known as SQL injection, they were able to access and copy the data of MoveIt users. Hackers downloaded the data of more than 15 million people. The vulnerability was discovered and MoveIt's owners issued a patch, but it was too late. The hackers had already stolen information from Siemens Electric, the University of California at Los Angeles, Sony, Shell PLC, and even the US Department of Energy. But the danger could be bigger than that. Many more prominent business and government organizations use MoveIt, including the United States Department of the Army. Here's where it takes a turn. Instead of locking their victims' data, CL0P issued a public statement. If the victims contacted them and paid up, CL0P would delete the stolen data from their own records. If the victims didn't pay, the stolen data would be published for everyone to see. Their deadline was June 15. We don't know who paid up, if anyone, but CL0P has begun releasing victim names and information. The hackers have exposed names, social security numbers, and driver's licenses for every resident of the state of Louisiana, totaling more than 4 million victims. It's already one of the largest data breaches of the year. So what does this mean for you? First, always update and patch your systems as quick as you can. Many of the move it victims were in danger because they hadn't applied a patch that could have protected them. Second, keep an eye out for breach notifications. If a business or service you use has been breached by hackers, you should change your password and back up your data. Tell your friends and family to be on the lookout for suspicious messages using your name you can make choices that stop hackers from exploiting your data. Finally, if you are a victim of ransomware, should you pay it? Whether an attacker has locked your data or is threatening to release it, it's tempting to pay the ransom, but that doesn't guarantee that you'll get your data back. If your computer is infected with ransomware, don't try to hide it and pay the ransom yourself. Instead, contact your security team right away and they'll decide the best thing to do. The movement hack shows that even if you practice good cybersecurity, someone else might still be vulnerable to a hack. And if that third party is handling your personal data, that data may be at risk. So stay alert, only use approved apps and services, and make sure you always install updates and patches as soon as they're available. And I'll see you next time on Hacker Headlines.